Good afternoon, everybody. We're here with Attorney Rainer Yebra, the top one in the 2009 bar examination. He is also the co-founder of Legal Edge Review Center. So we are here today to ask him to introduce to us what is Legal Edge and what can it offer you. So, Attorney Yebra, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Rob, no, and thank you for having me. I'm, I'm very honored to be here, actually. <laughs> okay, Attorney, no? When did Legal Edge start? Okay. Alam mo, Rob, no? Legal Edge started in 2016. Kung saan, we conducted mini lectures, uh, mini lecture sessions on all of our subjects for four weekends only. And at the time, we got an 87 passing rate among our Ang reviews. Taas, ha? Guys, that's first time. Yes. That's first time. Ang taas. So, the following year, in 2017, we had our full run and we consistently maintained that high passing percentage. And in fact, in 2017, our number two bar top notcher was from Legal Edge. So in the following years, we maintain that passing rate and then we have consistent top notchers. For example, 2, 3, 5, and 19 in 2018 coming from Legal Edge. Uh, as of uh, this morning, actually, for the 2020-2021 bar examination, we already have 1,001 bar passers from Legal wow, Edge. it's very high, no? So, where is uh, Legal Edge located at 30? Okay. I'm not, I'm not sure if you're going to believe this, but in 2016, Legal Edge started in just a small classroom sa Adamson University. Really? Yes! And now you're occupying the nursing building. Yes. Nursing building. yes. Uh, the following year, we had to transfer to the Philippine Nursing Association building to accommodate more, uh, more reviewees. And of course, you know, the pandemic happened, so it became online. But now, there's a lot of reach here because it was convenient through online uh, platform. Uh, what are the best features of Legal Edge Bar Review Authority? I, I personally think Legal Edge is unique because uh, we use scientific methods to help our students pass the bar. No? So we don't just rely on the usual lectures and then mock bar trainings. Now, these methods are the same methods that I used when I uh, took the 2009 bar examinations, okay? And it's the same methods na ginamit ng mga sujante ko who became more top notchers and yung mga pumasa sa bar as well. So, as for the scientific methods na sinasabi ko, I think it's the first time na nagkaroon ng ganito sa, sa Pilipinas, Legal Edge actually re-engineered the bar review. How? We use specific, innovative, interactive, and even game-changing methodologies for the things of bar review. So it's not your usual run-of-the-mill na bar review center. Ah, talaga namang napakarami ninyong features. Discuss natin, Tori. Isa-isahin natin yung mga main features na nasa Legal Edge na. So what is this BOTS uh, uh, feature? Okay. Yung BOTS, or your on the tawag namin, Bar Exam Trial on the Spot, or Interactive Mentoring, is a method na kung saan after you take the bar exam trial, no, meron ka mga mentors na kung saan magkakaroon ng one-on-one -on -one sessions, usually around 30 minutes, para mabigyan yung mga sudyante namin ng mga training on how to spot, spot issues for all bar subjects. Now, let me explain no, why this is important. Ang tendency kasi ng mga law students when they're answering bar questions is gusto nilang ipakita sa examiner na marami silang anak. Okay. Pero ang problema naman kasi, pag sinecheck na ng examiner, hindi na, wala naman siyang pakialam kung gano'ng kadami yung alam mo eh. Ang tatanoy niya, alam mo ba yung sagot kung sa hinahanap mo? So the, the, the foundation of answering a board question is not actually to provide the correct answer, but to address the correct issue. So yun ang tinuturo namin doon sa boss. How do you spot the issue? So it's all about spotting issues. So meron mo tayo na rehash, the code rehash. Can you talk about code rehash? Okay. So, alam mo Rob, yung Poodle Rehash, uh, this is a regular exercise to help our students uh, remember and master the legal provisions and we call key terms and concepts. Now, why, why Poodle Rehash? After more than 10 years of teaching, napansin namin na lahat ng bar questions, kahit gano'ng na-complex yan, will always boil down to what's the basic code of provision. So, yun ang tinutunan namin sa mga sudyante namin na kailangan Malala, mala, malaman nyo yung mga basic legal provision. So the Codal Rehash is a tool for them to remember and master the legal provisions. 
And it also forces you to study and read the, the Kodal. No? Kasi I, you know, I have a lot of friends na from um, different various girls schools. Parang their training was textbook. Yes. Uh, Supreme Court cases. But uh, some of them, you would be surprised, they don't even have a Kodal. They don't even have a Kodal, really. Uh, I'm sorry. But uh, in our case, kasi required yun, in the mass, so yes. and then memorize mo yun. But then, of course, that weakness, as we can, can say that as a weakness, or maybe, yes, let's say that's a weakness because the, the study of law really invades a person to be master of the, the, the text of the law itself. So, parang ina address ng, ng legal edge yung bagay na yun. Nahahabulin mo talaga yung mga hindi mo na experience in law school na kailangan alam mo talaga yung text of the law, kinahabol ng legal edge for you. Yes. Kasi if I may share na Rob, when I reviewed for my 2009 bar examination, hindi ako nagkosa ng books actually. I, I read my codes three or four times. And people were wondering, why do you keep reading your codes provisions? So I kept telling them, kasi I believe na dito na naiikot eh. And I was right. So nasabi ko, hmm. I think it's about time na malaman din ko yung mga ibang estudyante na no matter how much you did, kailangan talaga malaman ko yung nakalagay sa batas. Attorney, let's go to an edge hour. Okay. Yung edge hour is a sort of a wake-up message na kung saan pinapadala namin ng Viber messages yung aming mga estudyante, okay, para ma-update sila sa case law, sa legal law, and sa code of provisions. Ngayon, usually, pinapadala namin yan at 6.14 in the morning. Bakit 6.14? Kasi gusto na rin ma- masana yung aming mga sudyante na dapat sa so umaga, ising ka na, ready ka na mag aral Kasi kailangan yung, yung brain mo is ma- ma- kumbaga masanay na the whole day, alert ka. Yung iba kasi nag-aaral sa gabi. Okay, and then tulog buong umaga, buong araw. Medyo problematic yun kung dating ng bar examinations. True. Kasi ang bar examination, hindi naman gabi. So, dapat sanayin mo yung, yung utak mo na active siya na umaga. So, yung edge hour, pinapatala namin sa umaga. As a sort of, okay, let's start. This is what you should uh, you should know at this time. Yun ang idea behind the edge hour. So, attorney, we have the mock bar. Alam naman natin na lahat ng um, review center ay mayroong mock bar, hindi ba? So, what sets a bar? What makes the, the mock bar of legal edge special? Okay. Uh, Rob, you know, tama ka na yung mock bar or yung sa amin, yung bar exam trial na tinatawag namin is not something novel. Ginagawa na yan sa ibang bar review center. However, ang different, ang different sa amin is we believe na feedback mechanism ito eh ng mga estudyante. So once they take it, once they took it, kailangan, alam ka agad nila how well they did. So, ang unang feature niyan sa amin, mabilis yung pagbalik ng mga, ano, ng mga results. So, the examiners, they will craft the questions and the examiner themselves will check the answers. So, aside from giving scores ng mabilis, they will also give their comments on the answers. So, it's not merely saying, okay, you passed here. No, no, no. We will grade mo. Oo, hindi. Ito yung grade mo. Ito, ito yung dahilan kaya hindi mataas yung grade mo dito. We will give comments on your answers. No? And more importantly, yung results ng inyong uh, bar examination trial will form part of our database, okay? Which I will explain later dun sa tinatawag na personalized performance evaluation. Doon lang ako tayo papunta. Okay. So, ano po yung personalized evaluation? Okay. You know, Rob, uh, our personal belief in legal edge is that the bar examination is a numbers game. Now, pag sinabi mong numbers game yan, you need to get all the points that you can get. Okay? And you can only do that if you are aware of how well you're prepared. Okay? So in Legal Edge, we have this tool to update our students of their performance. Yun yung tinatawag natin, personalized performance evaluation. So yung personalized performance evaluation will essentially gather all the scores of the students, sa Kodo de Rihash, sa Bita Bar Exam Trial, sa mga activities namin, and then magkakaroon siya ng report, magkagenetic siya ng report para malaman mo kung anong subjects yung kailangan mong i-improve or kung anong subjects yung kailangan mong kung baga malakas ka na. Kasi syempre kung sa isang subject eh malakas o magaling ka na, you need to devote more time. 
you need to devote more time to sa mga subjects na mahina ka. So the idea, the idea uh, as I said, is to gauge the student's readiness to take the bar examination. It's as simple as that. We will send the report to you and we will tell you this is your evaluation. Guys, we call this, ano, eh, sa amin, sa amin lang naman, no? Dating hindi pa namin kinala si Attorney Yebra. He has this very famous Yebra system kasi, no? So, this is whereby, according to the myth and legend, no? So, he created the, an advanced plan, sort of a blueprint of how he will be preparing for the entire bar review season. So, this is very special because this is only found in Legal Edge, Attorney, you call it right now the college star. Yes, the college star. Now, if I may share, no, when I when I when I was studying and when I took the bar examination, nakita ko yun eh, yung tinatawag na let's wing it, winging it. Medyo delikado siya, eh. kasi if you don't have a plan, hindi mo malalaman kung gaano ka na yung progress mo. No, maya malalaman mo na lang kulang na pala yung oras mo, hindi ka pa tapos. Yung yeah, parang yung 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 wing mo lang, yung parang play by ear ka lang, yung parang tatadyahin mo lang. Oo, oh, right? yung parang Okay, for this month, ito, aralin ko. Wala kang definite plan. So, meron kami, meron akong ginawa na na, kung bagay, sinabi mo nga, a concrete game plan siya. From start of the review until the last day before examination. Yun yung ginawa namin sa College Dar. Ginawa namin siya for all our students. So, the College Dar will essentially uh, include yung mga path, yung mga schedule ng readings, suggested schedule of readings, in accordance with the syllabus by the Supreme Court. Now, ang purpose niya is to guide the students para malaman mo na, okay, for, uh, this time, dapat yung dalay na aral mo and until such time na matapos mo siya. So, in short, it's a game plan for the for the law students, for our law students. No? Para naman hindi sila bara-bara, kung tawangin, di ba? At nakasabay siya, Tordi, doon sa pacing ng lecture. Yes. Right? So, the YEBRA system or the college DAR is a very effective tool in order for you to really have this strict guideline as to what you will study and then of course in relation to the personal evaluation kung mahina ka dito sa performance mo nito abay alam mo na ano yung sisingit mo oh. kakaralin so kung titignan mo Rob no lahat na napag-usapan natin ngayon yung approach namin is nilagay namin yung sarili namin sa shoes ng mga estudyante yung psyche ng law ng bar review diba kung ako yung bar review yun ano ba yung kailangan kong gawin araw-araw para kumusaw sa bar and at the end, we will give you a performance evaluation report. Are you ready? If not, let's, let's train more. Very simple, di ba? And yet, very scientific. Yes. Why did you put up Legal Edge? To share this system. To share the system to many uh, people who want to reach their dreams. It's so difficult to reach your dreams, especially if you don't have the techniques and method. So, what were you? Why did you put up Legal Edge Review Center? Okay, uh, alam mo Rob, no? there are two main reasons why we put up legal edge. No? Unang una is we want the students, no? all law students okay, in the country, not only those who graduated from the big law schools, to experience yung top-notch bar review training. Uh, kami kasi, we personally believe that uh, your preparation for the bar should not start after you graduate. It starts from day one in law school. So, with Legal Edge, we are able to offer that kind of training uh, to, us, to all students, especially those who did not uh, finish in the big law schools that we have Now, the second reason is we wanted to re-engineer the conduct of bar review through the, uh, the scientific, innovative, uh, interactive, and even engaging methodologies that I have already told you earlier. Okay? Now, I believe that this has not been done before in the country. And we believe that this will be a game-changing approach for all those who want to become lawyers. Thank you very much, Attorney, for sharing why you made this legal edge. There are really a lot of students who are helping you. And there are a lot of students who are helping you. And in the recent bar examination, the are examination. Exemplary performers in the bar examination. So, talaga naman guys, napakaganda talaga ng sistema nitong Legal Edge, no? Ay talaga naman tulad ng mga naging top notcher and exemplary performers na sumunod ng college dar and all of these activities, eh baka kayo na ang susunod ng mga top at magkaroon o oh, magkaroon ng exemplary performance sa bar examination. Yes.